Hi, I'm Billy from Mabes Russell Floor Care. Uh, just wanted to show you a uh, quick video. We're in the middle of a um, uh, commercial job at the moment in Hereford, uh, cleaning the commercial carpet. And you can see now how, how it's coming up. It is coming up quite low. You can see we're right in the middle of it. Um, but what I, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do, I've just come across, we're just going on to the next part, but I've come across some strange. Um, strange lines and marks in the carpet and I wanted to make a video to explain what these marks are okay as you can see I hope you can see it from that cap from that camera you can see white lines coming all the way up all the way across the carpet basically what those lines are obviously carpets made from all different fibers um, Generally, in a commercial environment, you'll usually find they're synthetics. Obviously, you've got in a domestic environment, but this does relate to a domestic situation as well. Basically, a lot of the synthetic fibres have a lower melting point. Um, and what's happened here is, basically, somebody has been dragging stuff across the carpet, and the friction has, has melted the carpet basically because it's a synthetic carpet it's just melted it and it's left the lines and those lines are permanent don't matter how, how many times you clean it doesn't matter what you clean it with those lines are going to be permanent so I suppose really this video is more of a, a warning um, if, you, if you're ever moving into a home or moving out of a home because like I said it's not just a commercial environment this will happen because synthetic fibres are becoming more and more in the domestic environment as well things like polypropylene in particular um, you know the stain resistant carpets that, that's exactly what what they, they are they're, 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 they're polypropylene so um, amongst other things by the way but so whenever you're moving into a home, moving out, or you're changing the room around, just be aware um, what you work, in, what, what carpet you, you've got down, or what um, is what's underneath your feet, basically. Because And be careful, always make sure you, you, you lift the furniture up to move it. If you've got a heavy piece of furniture, don't feel like doing it yourself. Try getting someone else to help you. I know it's difficult sometimes, and you can buy things like sliders that can fit underneath to slide it across if it's really heavy. I know we use those when we're moving furniture. But if you've got a heavy piece of furniture, try not dragging it across the carpet, because you, you might find these are the sort of lines that are going, are going to be in your carpet. So, like I said, it's Billy's top tip of the day. You know, just, just be careful and always never drag furniture, always pick furniture up, always put it in place because otherwise you could be having lines that are going to be permanent in your carpet. Anyway, thanks for listening and see you again.